Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Corn Beaner. Uh, welcome to episode number six of my gaming with Corn Beaner series. This is mission three, uh, Space Layer. And uh, so far, this game has been pretty awesome. You know, I, I really do like. Uh, I'm really liking this game a lot. Uh, truth be told, I mean I'm not a, dro a double dragon purist, and this game is is a uh, is pretty fun. Um, so what I want to talk to you guys about today is kind of reverting back a little bit to what I had talked to last week and Steam, or the product known as Steam, that's released by Valve, is said or is speculated to actually be arriving in store or on sale or however it's going to be distributed to the populace during the first quarter of 2013. So if you are kind of hyped about it, if you guys read some of what Steambox is, basically it's Valve's console that they are working on to release to the market. Uh, presumably to compete with the consoles that with the consoles that are coming now and it's probably going to focus around their um, their steam marketplace and you know I, i'm still a little conflicted as far as what what i think might be possible for valve to do with the steam box But at the same time, if they're able to release it in the speculated date of first quarter 2013, you know, if you break down the year into quarters, you're talking about this product coming out anywhere between January and March. And that is pretty amazing. Um, I really don't believe, outside of the Wii U, which was released in November, I really don't believe that the next PlayStation and new Xbox will be out before year's end around October, November. I could be wrong, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not really. Oh, not really, you know, I don't have any insight to what's coming out and what's being sold or whatever, but I really don't see uh, the new Xbox or. The new Xbox or uh, geez, or PS coming out before E3. That's just not. I don't see it happening. And if Valve is able to release their product, oh jeez. If Valve is able to release their product in the first quarter and then use E3 as I guess like an educational tool and let people know exactly what they are and get people hyped about a product that's already in market. You know, they could be a force to be reckoned with. Um, you know, who knows? But um, yeah, I'll link down to the story down below. You guys can kind of read the speculation and you know, look up some of the Steam stuff online if you're interested in the new console to kind of check out what it is. And um, you know, I, I was a little jaded with it when it was first announced, but thinking that they might release so early next year, you know, I might even pick one up. And kind of be uh, a guinea pig for them. You know, do the unboxing, do all that crazy thing for the channel, of course, and then just test it out and see how it actually winds up working. And, uh, you know, with that big of a head start, if date holds true or the speculated date holds true, um, they, they can probably capture a nice little market, you know, and, and, and keep them keep them kind of profitable. And uh, going still kind of staying with the stuff I said last week. Today is December 17th, and I believe today or tomorrow is the official release date for Street Fighter vs. Mega Man, and I'm super hyped. And, I, and when I say super hyped, I'm like super hyped for this for this game. And I, I will be doing a playthrough for Mega Man within this the, the boundaries of this series, and. Um, Oh jeez! Oh my goodness! 
Wow, I can't believe I suck so much. And, uh... I'm really excited about that game. And again, I believe it's, free for, it's free for PC users, it's free to download, free to play. And, uh, I will definitely be checking that out. I suggest if you guys are Mega Man fans... And, um... I want to see what this game looks like. Hey, man, I, I recommend checking it out. And, uh, yeah, so that looks pretty sick. And I will... Uh... What else is there to talk about? Oh, and something outside of video games. Jeez, I... Oh, my gosh. I am so terrible at this game. And going away from video games for the present time, uh, my San Francisco 49ers uh, beat the Patriots today, and, or yesterday night on Sunday Night Football. And uh, man, I'm excited. They're in the playoffs, actually. Now, the only reason why they're playing is to try to uh, get better positioning for the playoffs. Hopefully, get first week by week if that winds up working for them I think it'd be fairly excellent for them you know rest some other retired hands uh, Colin Kaepernick has been on the roll Al uh, Alden Smith who is three sacks away or two sacks away from tying the record uh, set by Michael Strahan in 2001 uh, got no sacks today I believe but you know it's it's still close to breaking the record he has two games to do it and man I hope he does it uh, Frank Gore is set to break a franchise record, I believe, for 51 games with the touchdown. If he is able to score within the last two games, which would be uh, freaking sick for him. That dude is a, a solid player. He's a beast. He's a beast when it comes to stuff. So hopefully he can actually uh, break those records. And that would be awesome for him to do so. As I get my ass kicked in this game. I think that's... No, that's not boss. Ooh. Jeez. Those robots can uh, be right out of the air, and I suck. So I died. I will return to that place to make this video not so long, and I will resume the video from there. All right, I'll catch you guys in a bit. So I'm back. Uh, I got back to the place, and I'm actually better off now. I got two lives. I'm got nearly. Oh, jeez. And the secret I use is these little robots flying around the. Guy that I'm being that just hit me. You can actually grab him out of the air, and it's a one, a one throw kill. So that's helpful if you guys play this game. Remember to grab him. Oh my god, I hate this guy. I don't know how to duck that still. Sweet, sweet. Oh, wow. I beat him. <laughs> I believe that's leading up to the boss. So hopefully I'll be able to beat the boss. Oh, that was the end of the mission. Sweet. No. Uh, I'm short on cash. My money. Yeah, so um, let me know what you guys think about the whole Steam Box thing. Um, the Street Fighter versus Mega Man. If you have a PC, are you going to play it? Because I am. And uh, if you're a 49ers fan, hey, right now is a great time. Oh, it's always a great time to be a 49ers fan, but right now, especially <laughs> after years and years of years of being like the bottom, you know, like of the West, being Midwest, being close and being almost good, you know. Yeah, so that was episode number six. I'm sorry if it's a little bit boring. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the game at least. It took me like three times to actually figure out a, a perfect strategy to, to beat that level. Um, it revolved around ducking 
and grabbing those robots right away so they don't actually hit me for cheap damage and when we come back next time i will be at mission 4 the airlocks and i will see you guys next time bye